we've seen a lot of changes at the NDLA. And the question people are asking is, how have you been able to bring about so much change within so short a time? I received um, on this assignment the full um, support and encouragement of the president, which has to be the starting point. A president has to have sufficient political will to drive the process in his government in all aspects. And certainly, I can say for the NDLEA that we received this report right from when he inaugurated the Presidential Advisory Committee for the Elimination of Drug Abuse, which I chaired. Um, right from then, I knew that here was a man who was compassionate and he wanted a definite change. That's why he set up PASIDA to get to the bottom of the drugs scourge in Nigeria and find solutions to it. The report that we submitted was not thrown under the carpet, but uh, right away, he even appointed me as the, the chairman of the lead agency uh, on, on drug abuse and uh, trafficking in illicit substances. So that has to be a very critical aspect. No, I didn't bring any new personnel. It's bulk, there's the same personnel that I met, but we were able to raise their awareness, motivate them, and equip them to be more professional in, in facing the job at hand. And I must uh, express my thanks to the officers and men of the NDLEA. They rose to the occasion. I should also remember our uh, counterparts. We work with, we share intelligence. They help us with training and equipment. I'm talking of the Americans, that is the Drug Enforcement Administration, the International Narcotics and Law Enforcement Department of the U.S. State Department, um, the U.K. Border Force, um, the German police, the French police, and, and several others. And of course, I won't forget our partners in Nigeria, the various MDAs. The, the, the armed forces have stood by us. We have conducted operations. We have received uh, a lot of equipment from them, the police, the customs, NAVDAC, um, our partners and, and uh, other stakeholders. Tell me what you said to the staff on your first day at work. Um, the most important uh, thing I may have said would have been how proud I am to be appointed to serve in this uh, agency. And I gave them the assurances that I will take particular interest in their welfare. While I was in Pasida, there, there are so many things we learned. Uh, for instance, promotions. When we went around at that time, most of the complaints centered around welfare. Um, they hadn't been promoted for 15 years, 20 wow. years. Wow. They were just stagnated at one point. And I was reflecting as uh, a former officer of the Nigerian Army uh, while serving that you really couldn't have a commanding officer or a GOC serving for 15 years, you know, in one, uh, in one station with no progress. Um, so that was uh, one of the areas. And I found that even our men who are killed in action, just to bury them, the state commands that they belong to on their own will task, uh, will tax themselves for, bur for the burial uh, fee. Nothing came from the headquarters. There, there could be nothing uh, that will make you more despondent and, and lose uh, morale than this type of situation when you are facing it. There was no such attention paid and uh, lack of equipment. So the, the men were demoralized practically. They did not appear to have um, any purpose anymore. 
So these were some of the conditions we met and were able to make a representation to the president. Almost everybody was owed allowances. You send prosecutors to, to go, uh, they have to fly with their own money, stay in the hotel with their own money. You know, all this gives rise to temptations from the defendants and their lawyers, uh, you know, and, and so on. What is being done uh, to give assurance to these officers and men that when they fall on the line of duty, uh, their families um, will not be forgotten and all that. They already uh, have insurance, but the premiums, when I came, the premiums had not been paid for the past, I think, two or three years. But that has already been resolved. We paid, we reinsured them, and paid uh, for the next two years already. Um, so mm. there, there are no issues there. And the bare expenses also, we promptly uh, give it. Mm.